And so you'll have to get used to slower zones and slower speed zones around schools when classes start again on Monday. Police will definitely be out in full force and the East Valley this morning searching for bad drivers. That's where we find Hector Mejia live near Eastern and Owens with the details. Hey, Hector. Hey there, an enforcement here starts in less than 30 minutes right at 7 o'clock. We're at an intersection right by Owens and Eastern. We have three local CCSD schools right next to this crosswalk. So earlier we were trying to uh, press the button waiting for the traffic to come by to see if any of the drivers would stop. So here we're going to press the crosswalk button, lights turn on, telling drivers to slow down and stop. And off to the left we have one vehicle stopping right now or actually going since they're saying nobody's going to use the crosswalk. But the main message this morning actually right now we see police here driving by. That is part of the enforcement that kicks off at 7 o'clock this morning. We're talking about North Las Vegas Police, Metro Police, CCSD Police driving home the message. Hey, slow down. Look at the signs. Children are walking to school. Joining us live, we have Erin Breen. Good morning to you. Good morning, Hector. Tell us about the activity going on today. Huge and important for all of the parents, children, and the bad drivers, too. And especially the bad drivers, yes. So uh, today we're out doing pedestrian enforcement and of course the idea is for people to see it on the news and be reminded that school starts on Monday and we're going to be looking for cars driving slower and not like that gentleman and stopping for children on their way to school. And so we're at a school crossing zone. Uh, it's not a school zone, but it's a crossing zone. So it's reduced speed, lights will be flashing, and when you see that, understand fines are higher. If you get a, a ticket uh, in a school zone or a school crossing zone, and the whole idea is to make children safer on their way to school. And we need everybody to do their part, take their foot off the gas, slow down, pay attention, act like it's your children that are walking to school. And this is just one example. Uh, police will be setting up not just at crosswalks, but also s school zones once school begins on Monday. Absolutely, absolutely. So here's why. So at, 15, at, at 20 miles an hour, 10% of the population struck by a vehicle will not survive. And that 10% is the very elderly and small children because they have no body mass to absorb the crash force. That's why we ask you to slow down because if you strike a child, they won't live, plain and simple. Aaron, thank you for your time. We'll be posting uh, more information and also an update on just how many traffic, how many uh, tickets they issue throughout the day later on at noon. For now, reporting live, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now, back to you.